picture a sunrise. Instead, the osprey captured me. The osprey is a solitary hawk until it's time to raise a family. The Potomac River welcomes home these harbingers of spring. Starting great distances apart, the loyal osprey pair arrive back to their nest like clockwork. The male first, followed by the female. An osprey's nest is called an eyrie. Immediately, the ospreys begin repairing and preparing their annual home. Using his talons, the male snatches floating sticks, grabs those he finds in open areas, and even snaps small branches off trees while flying. With great skill, the male osprey drops his sticks into the nest, along with moss, sod, bark, grass, seaweed, paper, cloth, and any materials that will help the female shape their round, bulky home. For insulation and comfort, the softer materials line the nest cup where the chicks will be born, nurtured, and grow. An unusual sight, here the pair are moving the same stick. While preparing the nest, the ospreys may mate up to a recorded 338 times. Nothing stops this instinctive call from nature, not even an unexpected snowstorm. Except Antarctica, ospreys are found worldwide in urban, suburban, and rural water areas. Nests can be found in trees, on man-made platforms, pilings, roofs, cliffs, channel markers, and unexpected spaces. Usually they are found no further away than 1,600 feet from their fishing waters and are at least 20 feet high, protecting them from predators like raccoons. Small nests are around 2.5 feet wide and 6 inches deep. Very large nests can be up to 10 feet wide and up to 15 feet deep and weigh up to a ton. One nest was recorded to be in use for 70 years. Nests are seldom closer to each other than 33 feet. Sparrows, starlings, swallows, and grackles often take advantage of these architectural marvels by making their own nests within. The nesting or breeding season is defined from the first egg laid to the first time a nestling fledges or flies at about three months. On average, three eggs the size of a large hen egg are laid per nesting season. The pinkish cream spotted eggs are incubated for 30 to 42 days. The male and female often share egg-sitting duties. Newborns weigh about two ounces. Their growth is rapid. They'll double in size in just a few days. The natal down they are born with gives way to juvenile plumage in one to two weeks. The nestling's dark, barred feathers are tipped with white edges, creating a perfect camouflage pattern. How many ospreys do you see? 
ospreys will reach 90% of their adult size by the time they fledge. The new chick's tiny size, lack of mobility, food dependency, need for protection against predators, and summer's heat require constant care. The nurturing female stays in the nest with her chicks or on a nest perch. Extreme heat and intense sun are dangerous for the nestlings. By slightly opening her wings, the female shades her chicks. She will provide critical shading for hours if needed. The alert male will perch high in a nearby tree with an expansive view. If a potential threat occurs, the parents will first respond with chirps. The female's wings cover and hide the chicks. If these warnings fail to stop the threat, the male will swoop down off his perch and chase the danger away. 99% of the time, ospreys survive on fish. During the breeding season, fishing is primarily the responsibility of the male. The adult osprey needs about 300 to 400 grams of fish a day. Two adults and four growing chicks may need up to eight or more fish daily. Flying 30 to 90 feet above the water, the osprey searches for a fish no deeper than three feet below the surface. Once spotted, the osprey will hover and align itself behind the fish. With folded wings, it dives. The nearly vertical dive reduces refraction. The osprey's nostrils will close while its nictitating membrane moves to cover the eyes like goggles, its black eye stripe reducing the glare. An osprey's plunge may reach speeds of 30 miles per hour or more. An osprey's success rate has been recorded from 24 to 74 percent and the average size fish caught is between 6 and 13 inches. Powerful wings lift the osprey and its catch out of the water. Its reversible outer toes allow the osprey to position the fish's head forward to reduce drag while flying quickly to its perch or nest. Ospreys remain on the alert for those seeking their catch, such as an eagle that may force the osprey to drop its fish, catching it in midair. Many fish are cleaned before arriving back at the nest. The head and insides are removed, and the entire cleaning process takes about 20 minutes. During this process, the adult has an opportunity to eat. Then the fish is delivered to the nesting family. Interestingly, ospreys do not save their fish to eat later. Here, opportunistic birds patiently wait for the discarded pieces. Usually the females use their sharp beaks to twist, turn, and tear off small morsels of fish to feed the newborns. Initially, chicks will wait patiently for their turn, but those dynamics rapidly change. Aggressive food antics intensify. Nestlings no longer wait for food and will selfishly pull fish away from their siblings. Here, a fish is dropped into the nest of hungry youngsters and a fight breaks out. Luckily, this attentive mom comes back to ensure each was fed. First, a large wing will pop up out of nowhere. Then wings can be seen furiously flapping above the nest, jumping, hitting, ducking. Wings are everywhere. A breeze may hit a nestling's face and rustle its feathers, intensifying its desire to fly. Next, the strong winds cause a higher jump, and perhaps combined with a burst of wind, the jump turns into a first flight. On their first flight, many ospreys want to return to the nest quickly. The female knows better. Her fledglings need to build up wing muscles, practice, and master flying for migration. If a fledgling attempts to return to the nest too soon, the female will block its return by opening her wings. This forces her offspring to continue practicing and building up muscles. Eventually, the osprey will have to land somewhere. Once landing in a new spot, some ospreys appear puzzled and confused. This osprey landed on a roof and was immediately harassed by a small bird. Another struggles to figure out how to return to the nest. They will adjust. They are growing up osprey. The osprey is a large, fast-flying hawk about the size of a goose.
the female is 20% larger than the male that weighs up to 3.5 pounds. The female weighs up to four and one quarter pounds. Adults are around two feet in length. Their wingspan can be up to six feet or more. A kink in their wings creates an M shape when flying. It is easy to identify the female osprey. She has a necklace of light brownish decorative feathers on her chest. The male does not. To identify the adult from the juvenile, compare their eyes. The adult's iris color is yellow. The offspring's iris is amber orange. The osprey has long legs and large feet. Each foot has four toes. The outer toes are reversible. There is a 1.2 inch long talon on each toe. Backward facing scales on the curved talons act as barbs. Spicules on their foot pads are similar to sandpaper, enhancing their gripping power. This combination makes it nearly impossible for a slippery fish to get away. After leaving the nest, an osprey will drag its feet in the water to clean them. Ospreys clean themselves with their beaks. This action also spreads water-resistant oils from the preen gland over their bodies. Osprey bathing occurs in shallow waters like shorelines or sandbars. Always on the alert, the osprey continually scans the area for threats. Ospreys are often misidentified as American bald eagles. The easiest way to differentiate an adult eagle from an adult osprey is to compare heads. An adult eagle's head is all white, as is its tail. The osprey's head is white, but with a dark stripe across its eyes. The osprey's hooked black beak appears stubbier than the eagle's yellow beak, and the latter's iris appears pastel white, unlike the osprey's iris of yellow. The osprey has been around for centuries. However, they were on the verge of extinction by the mid-20th century. The pesticide DDT had permeated the food chain. DDT caused the thinning of the osprey's eggshells, resulting in massive egg failures. Thankfully, this destructive chemical was banned in the 70s. An osprey's lifespan is typically eight to 10 years. Some have lived up to 20 years. The oldest recorded age of an osprey is 35 years old. Mid-Atlantic ospreys migrate south from late summer to early fall, the female leaving first. The pair will part ways until next spring, heading past the equator where warmer weather and fish are abundant. Ospreys are long distance migrants, traveling up to 230 miles daily. Migration typically takes two to four weeks. Some travel as far south as the Chilo Islands off Chile's west coast. Swedish ospreys migrate to Africa. One was tracked flying 160,000 miles over its lifetime. In contrast, ospreys living in warmer areas like Florida and California do not migrate at all. As the young ospreys reach sexual maturity in three to four years, they migrate north to raise a family, and the cycle begins again with a new generation. Each spring, millions of osprey lovers worldwide anxiously wait for the words, they're back. Have you been captured?